What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics and today I want to talk to you about Captain America and how he can serve as a good example for uh, your job transition. Now before we get into the topic, for those of you that don't know, um, this series is called About Face because the purpose is to get military members um, to kind of change their direction and focus on the most effective measures that will get them the job that they deserve um, while also avoiding common pitfalls. And one of the common pitfalls that we see all the time is that <clears throat> um, people who are looking for a job assume that if they go through the normal hiring process that it's a like that's the only method um, to get a job so for example going to job fairs turning in resumes um, filling out resumes online things of that nature <laughs> the problem is um, and I've talked about this in other videos is that a resume is a sheet of paper and the last time I checked a sheet of paper can't get you a job um, it doesn't have the authority same thing with a computer the purpose of those tools and job fairs is to get you in front of someone who has the authority to hire you to get you the job so the point of the main point of your career transition is to get your skill set your face your abilities in front of those people or that person who has the authority to hire you now what can we learn from Captain America? If, if we look at Captain America 1, um, here we have this scrawny kid who is super patriotic, wants to make a difference in, in the world, and has, a, has like a, a drive and passion, um, but continuously gets um, rejections from the military because you know he's not he's not big enough and this and that um, but when one so let's take a step back here for a second when one looks at Captain America you might say well what is Captain America's superhero power and yeah he can do like amazing um, acrobatics and he can fight and, he, and he's a good commander but when it when it boils down to what his true what makes him Captain America? Why he was selected to be part of the super soldier program, to be the, the groundbreaking guinea pig, so to speak, was because of his willpower, his absolute devotion to the, to the, to the job, right? To his passion, to what he wanted. To his nation and and they selected him because they knew deep down inside he was a good guy he had no ulterior motives um, and because of that right despite all of the rejections and 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 knows he continued to press on he continued to persevere until finally he got in front of the right people the right yeah the right person or persons who had the ability to put him into a special program because they knew that was the character of person that they were looking for. They weren't looking for some sort of stud or anything like that. They were looking for somebody who exemplified the morals and beliefs that they wanted out of this new type of superhero, this new type of super soldier. And so the same thing is going to be true when you're looking for your job. There are other methods aside from the resume and job fair route that you can go. You can intern. You can volunteer. You can, this is a wild thought, but go directly to the company and, and request a meeting with the manager or the, the CEO, depending on who it is. Get in front of somebody who has authority. A lot of times the HR people have no real authority have no clue what the job entails or the, the requirements really mean. And the other thing is, 
the computers, the resumes, the hiring, the, the HR people, they're there looking at skills and basic knowledge, right? Skill sets. But the thing is, is that there's an emotional intelligence, right? There's, there's some intangible things like how does one work under pressure? How does someone handle difficult situations? How does one work in a group? Things that employers sometimes value more than knowing a specific skill set. So um, the minute you can get in front of them and show them that you have those intangible things, um, it's going to boost your chances. The other thing is, so um, we may touch on this from a different angle in another video, but another good strategy here is to go to the company and if they're if they are either hesitant or they say they don't have uh, you know the the funding right now just tell them hey look I will volunteer for a two week one month three month whatever that whatever you can handle basis and then after that let's reevaluate why don't you see me in action and then you can tell me what my true value is to the company, right? And um, what employer is going to say no to free work, right? And it, it shows something about your character. Every day you go in working for free, it shows, one, you care about their company. Two, you have no ulterior motives. And three, that you have a work ethic that's far above and beyond most other people. What it gives you... The benefit it gives you is tenfold. One, you get to see what the environment and company is like and truly understand from your perspective if it's a good fit. Two, it gives you a, an, a really good idea of what the challenges the company is facing and where you could add value. Um, three, it, it lets you make contacts in the community that you intend to work in. Um, and, and four, at the, at the worst, if they say, Hey, sorry, you know, at the end of the trial period, we still don't have room for you, but we really appreciate what you did. There's a good chance. And I'm not saying that you should expect it, but there's a good chance that they will recommend you. You can use them as, um, a reference in your resume. And by the way, now you have more experience that you can put on your resume that is directly related to this, the job and the community that you're trying to transition into. So, uh, I guess today, if you were going to do something that, like right now today, think of one, two, maybe three companies at the most that you could um, engage with on a personal level, on a face-to-face -face level in the next week. And give them a call stop by go volunteer do some sort of interaction with people because people are the ones who will actually have the authority to get you a job people are the ones that are going to see not just your abilities um, from a logical IQ standpoint but from a human social standpoint um, and see how you can fit into their culture and um, and then take action, you know, sometime in the next week, go visit some employers that you would like to work for, that you would love to work for, and see what options you have. Go in there with a game plan, you know. But um, anyways, I hope this information was helpful, and I'll see you in other videos. Take it easy.